Hey guys, Tyler here, coming at you with a little bit of YouTube exclusive content. It has come to my attention that the dumb sniper is no longer dumb. Yeah, apparently my time away, they buffed the shrapnel on the dumb sniper. So I boot up deflation mode here on a pretty easy map, and we're going to see how far the dumb sniper by itself, no hero, no support, no anything, can make it in deflation mode. Maybe it can even beat it. Uh, but what I do need to make sure first is that I get a discount village. I know that's very important. We get the discount village, we sell it, and now we can afford the dumb sniper with $8 to go. That is the only way that I know of that you can get the dumb sniper in deflation mode. So we're just gonna kind of let this run through, and I'll get back to you guys whenever this thing starts struggling. Okay, looks like a balloon finally made it past <laughs> the halfway point on the screen. It only took 22 rounds. So honestly, I'm pretty impressed with this guy so far. He used to be the dumb sniper because shrapnel never really did anything to help out the damage on this guy. But now it seems that they buffed the shrapnel, so what? I don't even know what the difference is. It has pierce, maybe? It seems to be going in like a good direction, which is cool and actually kind of realistic. But I'm not quite sure exactly what makes it do more damage. It just looks like there's more of it. So it seems to scale a lot better when you go to Elite Defender and Shrapnel Shot. So uh, needless to say, after seeing this performance, I'll definitely be using a lot of more of the dumb sniper. I mean, honestly, I I knew you could like beat it on logs, deflation mode that is, uh, with this tower. But I did not expect this kind of result on freaking muddy puddles. This, this is actually beyond a shock to me. Of course, it helps that the Elite Defender itself is quite solid, a lot of attack speed. But if there wasn't shrapnel, I mean, two damage per shot would be doing hardly anything. So it is crazy to see this happening. Maybe I should do a run without shrapnel just to see a comparison. But what I really wanted to see was this BFB. What are we looking at right now? Like, it's a lot stronger, so the shrapnel isn't going to do much. No, we still beat it. Wow, that is the easiest deflation mode strategy I've ever seen. I'm going to actually take this into free play while I just talk about a couple other things. Don't go anywhere because after this, I'm going to be showing you guys another challenge that's pretty cool that involves the dumb, dumb sniper. And I wouldn't be surprised if we go down here. Oh, we do survive. Taking out the road spikes for once. That was pretty cool. If I had to guess when this dies, it's either 63 or 64. Actually, come to think of it, though, this route is fortified Moab, so... I mean, that could be pretty bad. It's going to be close. I don't know. Oh, no. That also takes out the road spikes, but no death. Real round I'm worried about. There it is. Yep. All right. I was didn't even micro it. I, like, I could have used the monkey knowledge, but I just wanted to see. Round 63 is the demise for the dumb sniper. Well, you know, despite coining the term dumb sniper, I'm still going to use it, but I'm going to feel a little bit uh, bad when I use it now because it obviously seems pretty uh, usable. Props to Ninja Kiwi for buffing it. Anyways, next up is a challenge involving the dumb sniper, so don't go anywhere. You guys will enjoy this. So I recently beat this guy's challenge. It's the hardcore edition now of this challenge. Because in the past, I did Churchill, and then got a Arcane Spike, and then I got a Super Jug, and I beat this. So now it's the same round, 60-63. Mobs are faster, but now you're stuck with Pat and 4th tier towers only. So how much harder can this possibly be? than the first version. We're gonna have to use everything this time. Getting Pat for sure. Fourth tier is brutal. I'll definitely want Jug. Overclock could be interesting. Think about it, overclock on a Jug to beat round 63. I'm just saying that could be an interesting idea. That's my strategy right now. So we're gonna get this Jug here. And why would you overclock a um, $3,000 tower? Well, I guess we'll see. Maybe we don't, but honestly, just that idea came to mind. I thought it'd be kind of fun. I want this on, I guess, well, this should be on strong. This probably should be on strong. Can I afford overclock from where, where I stand now? May or may not happen. Is six, $8,000 away? Let me just run this, see what happens. Because I definitely, well, probably want Arcane Spike and Pat. Okay, this is a terrible start. This isn't like Churchill anymore. I remember I had Churchill the first time around, and the dude was great at DPS. Uh-oh. All right, well, I'm gonna bring this back then. Obviously not going overclock anymore. I'm still going Arcane Spike because it's a nutty tower, but maybe it's something instead. No, it can't be Phoenix. Like 63 is the bane of my existence right now. Let's go Sniper. If this Sniper happens to be in Pat's range, it probably isn't, but this could be a pretty solid Sniper. A Shrapnel Shot. They really decreased the amount of money I had though. 
Like, I'm pretty sure before I was able to afford a full auto rifle. So I thought this guy would make for some good cleanup. Oh, you're kidding me! That was like two balloons! We could also just go for a crazy sniper. Just full auto and say screw the jug. Or maybe get the jug later. Because honestly, as long as we have this, I'm happy enough right now. Remove you and make our way towards jug. Alright, let's go. We beat round 60 at least. Now we just got a fast spike bolt. But I would like this to be a juggernaut. And we have Pat's ability at any time too. Don't know when I'll need it, but I'm sure soon. Yeah, so now we have a wizard or a purple problem. So our wizard's gonna be having some issues. But we do well we survive for a bit longer. I think I'll pat ability here. Oh yeah, hit that pat. Hit that mod. Let's go. Hit that mod too, please. Uh oh. All right, we got a jug now, so we're hitting more purples a little bit better. Look at this knockback on that Moeb. Let's go. So fortified Moebs are definitely gonna suck. Hopefully purples are gone by then. Yeah, actually fortified Moebs are gonna super suck. Knock it back. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Yes! All right, pad is insane, and we'll have pad ability up for 63, at least barely. No, I won't have the money for this. I'll have money for engineer, I suppose. I can get a little bit extra damage with that, but... What is this gonna do, really? Do, like, oversized nails into pin? Dude, we're so close, though. We're legitimately leaving, like, 10 lives. Maybe pad on strong, these, this on strong? I, I kind of, if I am to save the pad ability for anything, it would be for the last wave. Okay, wizard micro gets it done. Wizard on strong to focus down ceramics. Now we're talking. And then first here. And then we don't need to level up pad anymore, so let's get this guy. <gasps> okay, that was just the knockback. No, we're still leaking! I don't understand it at all. I must just be getting unlucky. Because the first and second wave are the same ceramics, but it's the third wave that has more. The only difference is that, I guess, there's other balloons blocking the second wave. So there's a minor difference. Wait, but now we leak on the first wave. It is just luck-based. Yuck. <laughs> so here's the ideal situation. We have Pat, of course, because he's Pat, right? Pat's pretty good. We have the Arcane Spike. Because the arcane spike is good. We have the juggernaut because the juggernaut's good. And then we have like balloon trap. And then whatever money I have left on sniper is what we get for a sniper. So that I feel like is the ideal combo. But I mean, I'm sure there's reasons why it sucks that I'm going to find out. Have this on strong, I guess. And then maybe I do like a 0-2-3 sniper. Just for leak catch. I mean, I guess it could still be a full ceramic guy on strong. Like a ceramic catcher. Pause. Hey, thanks for the eight months. Uh-oh. Alright, well, if I am to buy a sniper, I should make up my mind so I don't just leak to literally 15 balloons. I think I'm gonna do the fast-firing shrapnel sniper. I know. It's kind of bad, but it's kind of what I got. To be fair, that's probably the best sniper. I just have a hard time believing that, you know? Maybe it actually is, but it just feels so wrong. It feels so, so, so wrong. Alright. So there we go. We win. At least that round. Got our balloon trap back. Probably want this. Well, I want this on strong for 62. I'm going to have to do a lot of microing, I think. So I can actually target the moebs through the purples. And then it'll switch back to first. When I need it the most. Okay, I'm alive. Uh, there's the balloon trap money. No semi auto yet. I'm gonna use this now. Pad ability. It should be bagged for parts of 63. I need another balloon trap. Oh, we got some semi auto. Let's go. Alright, strong real quick. Now first. Please, Pat, knock it back. Yes, let's go. Knock this one back too. Let's go. Alright, it's time for the round. Again, if I need to... Well, I mean, honestly, this is the best set of towers I've had yet. So this should be awesome against 63. 
but who knows? We might leak some random balloons. Hopefully, I don't need patability for this first wave. That would make no sense to me. Yo, we're in it. All right, first wave has been conquered. Let's go. Okay, next up, I want the... Uh, let's just go sentry gun. Again, I want to save the ability for the third wave. Should have saved for a second wave. Literally, that's one stack of yellows. Honestly, this has a better chance than the other engineer, because now we have balloon trap. Maybe I just want sentry guns now. No! One green balloon! Alright, let's go back to the pack strat. Upgrade pat, micro wizard. Alright, good. Like, we have a balloon trap up for each unique wave. You can do it, wizard. Yo, second wave down. All right, let's go. We have patability for a third wave. This should be a win. I think with the wizard micro is what did it. Let's go. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Why are you like this? I, okay, I can manage this, I think. I hope I didn't just get uh, lucky to make it there because I had a little bit of money I could have spent on and I could have done patability a little sooner. But that was some, some bullshit. This was attacking useless balloons. Alright, let's go. Alright, gonna want you on strong. Both of you on strong. Now. Come on. That's it. Yes! <laughs> that took a little too long. Kind of luck-based. Yeah, fine. I'll like it. I'll like it. I don't want more people to make challenges like this, but it was still a fun time.